Chapter 16 Morning Talk by Ellen G. White, Minneapolis, Minnesota, October 24, 1888. Now our meeting is drawing to a close, and not one confession has been made. There has not been a single break so as to let the Spirit of God in. Now I was saying what was the use of our assembling here together and for our ministering brethren to come in if they are here only to shut out the Spirit of God from the people. We did hope that there would be a turning to the Lord here. Perhaps you feel that you have all you want. I have been awake since two o'clock, and I have been praying, but I cannot see the work making the advancement that I wish I could. I have been talking and pleading with you, but it does not seem to make any difference with you. As I have told my children, although they are thousands of miles away, when I go to God in prayer for them, I know where they are standing in the Christian life, and if they are not living close to God, I am alarmed. Had Brother Kilgore been walking closely with God, he never would have walked onto the ground as he did yesterday and made the statement he did in regard to the investigation that is going on. That is, they must not bring in any new light or present any new argument, notwithstanding they have been constantly handling the Word of God for years. Yet they are not prepared to give a reason of the hope that they have, because one man is not here. Have we not all been looking into this subject? I never was more alarmed than at the present time. Now I have been taken down through the first rebellion And I saw the workings of Satan, and I know something about this matter that God has opened before me, and should I not be alarmed? And then to take the position that because Elder Butler was not here that that subject should not be taken up. I know this is not of God, and I shall not feel free until I have told you. Here was the enemy inculcating his ideas in the hearts of the angels, and they expressed these ideas that he has inculcated as their own. And Satan takes them and tells them to the other angels as the sentiments of the angels he has been working with. And thus he inculcates his ideas into their minds and then draws them out of the angels as their own ideas. Now I am full of pain as I view these things. And how can I help it? Do you think that when I see these things transpiring that I can keep still and say nothing when these things have been shown me? I want to tell you, my brethren, that it is not right to fasten ourselves upon the ideas of any one man. Now I want to tell you what a good brother said to me as he was about to leave the meeting. He came to me with such a feeling of relief that everything was settled and our old position was all right. Well, one says, your prayers and your talk run in the channel with Dr. Wagner. I want to tell you, my brethren, that I have not taken any position. I have had no talk with the doctor, nor with anyone on this subject, and am not prepared to take a position yet. By their fruits you shall know them. I took my brethren and told them just where they were, but they did not believe me. They did not believe they were in any danger. If Elder Wagner's views were wrong, what business has anyone to get up and say what they did here yesterday? If we have the truth, it will stand. These truths that we've been handling for years, must Elder Butler come and tell us what they are? Now do let us have common sense. Don't let us leave such an impression on this people. One brother asked me if I thought there was any new light that we should have or any new truths for us. Well, shall we stop searching the Scriptures because we have the light on the law of God and the testimony of His Spirit? No, brethren, I tell you in the fear of God, Cease ye from man, whose breath is in his nostrils. How can you listen to all that I have been telling you all through these meetings and not know for yourself what is truth? If you will search the scriptures on your knees, then you will know them, and you will be able to give to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is within you. Let us come to God as reasonable beings to know for ourselves what is truth. But if you want to take a position that only one man can explain the truth, I want to tell you that this is not as God would have it. Now I want harmony. The truth is a unit. But if we fasten to any man, we are not taking the position that God would have us take. We want to investigate every line of truth, especially if it bears the signet of God. 
Can you tell in what way God is going to give us new truth? When I have been made to pass over the history of the Jewish nation and have seen where they stumbled because they did not walk in the light, I have been led to realize where we as a people would be led if we refused the light God would give us. Eyes have ye, but ye see not, ears, but you hear not. Now, brethren, light has come to us, and we want to be where we can grasp it, and God will lead us out one by one to him. I see your danger, and I want to warn you. Now, this is the last minister's meeting we will have unless you wish to meet together yourselves. If the ministers will not receive the light, I want to give the people a chance. Perhaps they may receive it. God did not raise me up to come across the plains to speak to you, and you sit here to question his message and question whether Sister White is the same as she used to be in years gone by. I have in many things gone way back and given you that which was given me in years past, because then you acknowledge that Sister White was right. But somehow it has changed now, and Sister White is different, just like the Jewish nation. Now, we did not intimate one word that we did not want that subject taken up. We did want an investigation, but I cannot take my position on either side until I have studied the question. There is the danger God has shown me that there would be a deceitful handling of the Word of God. I have been shown that when debaters handle these truths, unless they have the Spirit of God, they handle them with their own efforts. They will, by making false theories and false statements, Build up a structure that will not stand the test of God. This is what the Lord has shown me. Now, brethren, we want the truth as it is in Jesus. But when anything shall come in to shut down the gate that the waves of truth shall not come in, you will hear my voice wherever it is, if it is in California or in Europe or wherever I am, because God has given me light and I mean to let it shine. And I have seen that precious souls who would have embraced the truth have been turned away from it because of the manner in which the truth has been handled, because Jesus was not in it. And this is what I have been pleading with you for all the time. We want Jesus. What is the reason the Spirit of God does not come into our meetings? Is it because we have built a barrier around us? I speak decidedly because I want you to realize where you are standing. I want our young men to take a position, not because someone else takes it, but because they understand the truth for themselves. Here is Elder Smith and Elder Van Horn, who have been handling the truth for years, and yet we must not touch this subject because Elder Butler was not here. Elder Kilgore, I was grieved more than I can express to you when I heard you make that remark, because I have lost confidence in you. Now we want to get right at what God says, all this terrible feeling I don't believe in. Let us go to the Lord for the truth instead of our showing this spirit of combativeness. God has given me light, and you have acknowledged it in times past. Now the words that were spoken here were that Elder Wagner was running this meeting. Has he not presented to you the words of the Bible? Why was it that I lost the manuscript and for two years could not find it? God has a purpose in this. He wants us to go to the Bible and get the scripture evidence. I shall find it again and present it to you, but this investigation must go forward. All the object I had was that the light should be gathered up and let the Savior come in. I don't expect my testimony is pleasing, yet I shall bear it in God's fear. God knows there is a preparation going on here to fit these ministers for the work, and unless we are converted, God does not want us. I hope Brother Morrison will be converted and handle the Word of God with meekness and the Spirit of God. These truths will stand just as long as time shall last. You want the eye salve that you can see, and Jesus will help you if you will come to him as little children. May God help us to seek him with all our hearts. Manuscript 9, 1888